a lot of users are finding that they cannot connect to security sites or update their security programs and this leads them to think that maybe they have the config of worm or something like that. They don't. What they have is a malware infection and the malware has become very clever and it changes the host file which blocks users from connecting to security sites. There are ways around this. What you can do if I close these windows is download host expert which is an excellent program that I use and another one you can download is Hostman. Now as you can see in Hostman there are just over 60,000 host names. These are bad sites, they're blocked. Now click on manage backups, click on original hosts, restore backup, click yes, ok and then close that window. Your host now, there's one name. So your host file is being cleaned. And that's the way it should be. It removed the hijacked ones. In Host Expert, click on Restore MS Host File. Click OK. And again, it cleans it. This has removed all of the host entries, including the hijacked ones. So you have a clean host file. Now at this point, it would be beneficial to reboot before you do anything else. And just give it a moment or two to start up. The next thing you want to do is your anti-malware programs or antivirus programs. In this case I have Super Anti Spyware and Malware Bytes. Now right click and rename the file that is the installer. I've renamed it to FPCS1 and the updates to FPCS1 updates. Malware bytes I've renamed to F FPCS2. All you have to do is right click and rename. It's that simple. You can do this with any antivirus or any anti-malware program that you may have. It's very simple, very easy. You won't do any damage, so don't worry about it. And I will upload these two to my site, and there will be a link on my article page about this, where you can download these if you want to. Now in Super Anti Spyware, if you click on the one that says Super Anti Spyware Application, and right click, and again rename it. Again I've renamed this to FPCS1. I know what this is. And I've done the same with malware bytes. I've right clicked, renamed FPCS2. In Task Manager, you can see FPCS1, FPCS2. Super Anti Spyware, Malware Bytes. They are not listed otherwise as Malware Bytes or Super Anti Spyware. They are FPCS1 and FPCS2. It really is that simple. You know, in most cases you will then be able to update. Now Super Anti Spyro has a boot safe mode. If you click on that, click safe mode minimal and then reboot and allow it to scan. And this will solve a lot of problems. It also has an alternate start. Now if you open this one up and look in task manager you will see the alternate start is a line of numbers and letters and Super Anti Spyware itself again will not be listed in Task Manager and this is to fool any malware that may be on the computer and it works. As I said I will upload uh, these to my site. The updates you simply download, click on it to run it, click next, follow through the prompts and then restart Super Anti Spyware to activate the new database, the new definition files. And really, it is very simple to do. You know, you have this safe use, you change the executable name and apply it to any of your security applications as long as you know what they are. It's very simple to do, very straightforward. Just right click, 
and rename it. It's still an executable file, but it is not super anti spyware or malware bytes or whatever. If you want more information, you'll find it on my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at Free.